very apparent there in the Top of the Pop studio that year. I mean, people, there's a lot of talk about, oh, the 80s, bad hair, bad everything. But you don't think that, do you? Oh, in my humble, unbiased opinion, the early 80s rocked. It was fabulous. Um, we'd come out of punk, which was dark, pain, spitting, swearing, no melodies, or very few. And so we wanted colour back. We wanted um, optimism. And so these tags came along, new romantics. It's lovely, isn't it? Mice and old romantic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, A consistent romantic. <laughs> and, and new wave. Um, which probably came from the advent of the synthesizer come along and we're all fiddling along with these waveforms on the instrument. And it was very inventive, original period. Are you surprised, Mike, that after the glamour and the how big the 80s were, that we're stepping back towards it now? Not really, it was a good time. As Imar said, it was post-punk, it became showbiz again. It was a great time of, uh, of financial stability for the country for about 10 years. So it was a time of plenty, a time of excess. And a lot of groups got a lot of big money for signing. I mean, it was, it was a good time. And it was showbiz. Glamour came back, showbiz came back, clothes came back, hairstyles came back. And I think the artists, which they didn't with punk, they actually embraced celebrity and showbiz. Which they're still doing today with the likes of Heat Magazine, Now Magazine and everything. But, yeah, so. interestingly enough though, we're now in a recession and we're looking towards the glam. Do you think it's a way of just cheering ourselves up again? Yeah, yeah but the, pro the problem now in a recession is that I, I don't think the industry, uh, the TV and the record industry, really help the industry at all. I mean, they're not helping new young writers, new young bands. It's very tight at the moment. It's very, very difficult. We've got so much talent in this country and it's really being stifled because the industry is not helping. I mean, when you look back at the 80s, I mean, we're, I mean, I was doing the breakfast show, so you pick up bands, then you'd have them on Saturday morning, you guys would come on the Saturday morning show, then you come on Pop Quiz, then Top of the Pop, so there was a whole system, there was a whole support system uh, for the bands and the artists then, which there isn't now. Yeah, well, I mean, it's always fascinating when bands get back together. It's quite complicated there, people haven't played together for such a long time. How hard was it for you guys? Well, you know, I, I analyse it this way. It's very hard to keep two people together in a marriage. So you, you can imagine what it's like for five egos, five creative minds, five personalities. Um, it's 25 years is a long time, but I think slowly there's a lot of compromising to be done. The people, have, the people have gone their own direction, they're living their own lives. As you say, it's recreating a family which is gone. I think you have to compromise in your life. So in a, in a complex situation of five creative minds in a, in a group, you, know, you, can, you have to step back and look at the bigger picture and just enjoy it, try to enjoy it. Who are you appealing to? Because I know you're bringing back out the best Kajagoo Kaj and Lamar, that's coming out. Yes. But we've seen Aha uh -huh, come yeah. back. Mm. Um, Duran Duran, still very popular. Spandau. Mm. Spandau yeah. Ballet, yeah. Yeah. Wild, still aren't Kim Wilde. Wild. Mm. Mm. So, I mean, who are they appealing to? Are they appealing to the likes of us who quite have fond memories of the 80s? I think, 80s I think they're or... to They appeal to people that have the fond memories. They appeal to new people who are getting into music. Uh, when you look back at the 80s, I mean, all the young people they'd say, getting into Beatles music. So it's always there. It's like a library of music to be tapped into. And you find, I mean, I went to one in, in, down in Sussex a couple of years back and you were playing ABC, um, Go West. And it was fantastic, a real mix of age. It's a, it's a sort of, I mean, for people of a certain age, I'd classify myself with that. It's just sort of, it's a comfort thing, isn't it? You, you feel comfortable with it. You, know it. you look back to that time in your life before all the really big stuff happens, where you worry about careers or children, marriages, divorce, or possibly even health problems. So it's, and also, it's that time of your life when everything, all the important stuff happens for the first time. The kids behind the school bike shed, the first holiday, the first lover, whatever it is. You know. it, was, it was a time of great excess, but delightful excess. When oh, I spent, yeah. you know, 12 years at the BBC just thinking I was having a terrific time, and actually I learned something as well, which is bizarre, but you only realise that when the tide goes out. Well, we're going to hear more from you two yeah. later on, so thank you very much for now. Thanks for yeah. the okay. burst of nostalgia. Yeah, absolutely.